Look at somebody and say, I am unstoppable. Whatever you thought you lost, whatever is taken from you, God will compensate you. All things work together for good to those who are called according to his what? Purpose. All things. May your life attract people that have something to do with your destiny. Talking on the anointing. Somebody say the anointing. Looking at the anointing of the Holy Spirit. The power of God made available to every believer. But we have limited the anointing to just one aspect. That the anointing is for us to cast out devil, demonstrate the power of God. But the anointing is much, much more than that. He gave us the Holy Ghost not just only to cast out the devil, not just only to heal the sick. No. And that is why it is important that we look into the scriptures and begin to find out what actually is this anointed? What does this supposed to do in our lives? How do I get this anointed? And there are evidence in the scripture of people that encountered this supernatural. Because you cannot talk about the supernatural of God and take the Holy Spirit out. It is not possible. We saw last Tuesday that one reason why the anointing is given is for you to preach the gospel. For you to do what? Preach the gospel. For you to preach the gospel. If you are anointed, if you are given the Holy Spirit and you are filled with the Holy Spirit and you speak in tongues... And don't speak to men. Don't speak to women. Don't speak to your neighbors. Don't speak to people around you about this Jesus. Then I doubt you are anointed. What you receive should be a different thing. It is the power of God made available to every believer. And I showed you last week for you to manifest destiny. Destiny is that you are created for. The purpose for your coming to planet Earth. But to manifest destiny in the world that is crooked and wicked, you need a higher power. You need the anointing. Somebody say, I need the anointing. Because there are things around you that wouldn't want your destiny to show up. What is life if I live and did not manifest why I came? That I pass through planet Earth and they say my time is over and I return to God and did not accomplish the reason why I was born. It would have been better that I didn't come. It takes the presence of the Holy Spirit in you to activate and bring you to a place where that which is dormant in you will show up. We looks at the like of David, looked at the like of Samson. He took the anointing. You go through some processes in life, and those processes is just getting at one thing. 
for you to come to a place where what you are created for will show up. The process may not be palatable. The process may not be welcome. But that is what it takes. Then it takes the understanding of the working of the spirit of God for you to know that, hey, what I am going through, I'm going through to break through. I'm going through this to break through. That what is happening to you is not meant to kill you. It's not meant to destroy you. It is a part of the process for the steps of the righteous is ordered by who? By the Lord. That's why he says, if though I pass through the valley of the shadow, of death. I know you are there. He said, when you go through the fire, I'll be there with you. Why would you allow me to go through the fire? Because there is a place you are going. Every hidden destiny helper be made visible in the name of Jesus. I've come to announce to somebody that the season of celebration has just started. May your life attract people that have something to do with your destiny. This week, this week is your week of testimony. Unlimited testimony. Somebody shout and receive it. The Bible says it was necessary for Jesus to go through Samaria. It was mandatory for Jesus to go through Samaria. He could have gone somewhere else. But there was a woman that has married five times. That has cried and cried and do not know what to do. She has to have an encounter with the supernatural if her life must change. And Samaria needs an evangelist. Oh God, help me. Listen to me. No one is useless. The prostitutes you see out there is created for a purpose. What she's doing is not why she's created. But if you are anointed and can speak to the prostitute, one day the prostitute will stand in the church and begin to preach and begin to say, when I was a prostitute, to let you know that no one is useless. Are you there? The challenges you go through is to manifest why you were born. The greater your destiny, the greater the challenge. Whoever knew, whoever, how can you tell? Marry number one, Marry number two, marry number three, marry number four, and marry number five. That God will look for who to use is this one. Child of God, when you come into come in contact with the supernatural, you become an instrument of honor and glory. Your past becomes insignificant in your presence. Your present begin to speak volume. That the present joy swallow the tears of the past. And when they arrived in Samaria, Jesus said to his disciples, go into the city, go and get food. He sat by the well. And here come this 
do you call her? Prostitute? You are right. Because in between marrying one to the other, she must have been sleeping around. Who knows what was breaking the marriages? And guess what? She, here she comes to draw water. And a Samaritan now met a Jew. Because Jesus dressed like a Jew. And Jesus said to her, Can I get water from you? Listen to me. When you encounter the supernatural, a demand is made on you. The demand that is made on you is not to reduce you. It's to see how willing you are to empty yourself for the supernatural to take place. The woman began to talk story and Jesus said, if you know the person that is sitting here, that the person that is sitting here is a well himself. And the water I give, when I give you, you will not look for water anymore. Ah! You mean if you give me the water, I don't need to be carrying pots to this place? Jesus said, yes. And asked her a question. Where is your husband? She started telling stories. Jesus said, yes, you are right. The, the one you are even living with now is not your husband. You say you are a prophet. He, she abandoned her pots. When you encounter the supernatural, what the supernatural does is to break that which has held you bound and release you to your generation for the impact that you're supposed to make. And guess what? She abandoned the pot and went to the city and said to all the men she has been sleeping with, come and see a man who has told me everything about my life. They say, who is the man? The whole city, the whole city, oh God, help me. The whole city came. The whole city did what? Came. And that was how the woman, the entire Samaria came under the influence of Jesus Christ. Listen to what I'm going to say to you. The present challenge in your life is walking towards your standing testimony. No, you didn't hear what I'm saying. I said the present challenge in your life is walking towards your outstanding testimony. The city will stand still because of your testimony. If I hear you say amen. She encountered the supernatural, the anointing. The anointing is to help you manifest your destiny. Number three, the anointing makes you outstanding in your generation. The anointing makes you outstanding in your generation. Somebody say, I hear. The anointing makes you outstanding in your generation. Hear this. To be astounding is to be distinguished. Is to be excellent. Is to be prominent. To be astounding is to stand out. Is to be eminent in your generation. Is to be exceptional. Marked by superiority or distinction. That is what it means to be astounding. 
in anything you are doing. An outstanding wife. Today is Mother's Day. An outstanding mother. It takes the anointing for you to be an outstanding mother. Not mother that will teach the child the evil of the day. It takes the Holy Spirit for you to be a standing mother to see the future of your child and begin to package him towards the future. 